Hello everybody, this is Trevor Ursulescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Today I've got a really cool model kit to unbox. It is the Luminarch of Hish, or the Celestial Hurricane. It all depends on how you're going to build this thing. So without further ado, let's go down to my bench and see what's in the box. So today we're going to be looking at the Celestial Hurricaneum Luminarch of Hish. Now this is a great big box as you can see it really touches the edge of my screen and you may think I'm zoomed in with my camera but actually this is my frame. <laughs> so what's sad about this though is this of course is a Citadel miniature model kit right which that's not the sad part. The sad part is at one point in time the Celestial Hurricaneum Luminarch of Hitch had box art on it. And the box art, of course, would look like this. But now, Games Workshop has stopped printing on the older model kits, on the online exclusive stuff. They stopped printing those nice box arts and everything, and they kind of just leave you with Citadel, Age of Sigmar, and 40k. So I imagine this is a universal box just for them to save on ink so that they can make us more models or something like that. I don't know. But this is what you get now. And it's kind of sad because that original box art, of course, had how to paint the thing and, you know, showed you what the different options were. This is just mail order, very plain. But anyway, with that being said, there is still a model kit in here. <laughs> so let's see what this thing looks like. Now, i got to be careful because this is sort of like all the other great big kits. comes in a tray. So we'll just move this out of the way. Now this initial part of the video is going to be kind of the same. Because I'm going to make two videos. One where I'm going to try to build a Luminaka Hish. And another where I'll show you the Celestial Hurricane. So what I want to do is have this review at the beginning of both videos. Which hopefully won't take us too long. <laughs> And uh, just so that you guys can get an idea of what's going on. So inside this box, of course, we get two big parts trees. One with the magical stuff and the wizards, and this one here, which is actually the cart which they use to haul these things around with. Then, of course, we get our nice instruction sheet here. And you do get an interesting option of the round base round bases for Age of Sigmar, or the original square bases if you are more of a collector or want to play Ninth Age, or maybe when the new Warhammer Old Worlds starts coming out again. There's our square bases. Now this model kit originally came out in 2011. It was sort of hot on the heels of the uh, Empire Wizards. And, of course, the instructions haven't changed either. This still says Empire Celestial Hurricaneum Luminarch of Hish. So, of course, we get our regular standard in every language. You know, use caution. Here's the stuff you can use to put your models together and so on and so forth. So as we open this up, our first panel here is the, the carriage going together. So we have these nice ornate wheels and ornate carvings on the carriage. The little stairs in the back. And we do have some locking hubs here, and if you glued it on correctly, you could actually have these wheels spin. Here's our nice big horses leading these. They, of course, are barded with all the chainmail and everything. And then it shows them clicking onto the cart. You will, of course, need glue. And remember, if you paint anything, if you want good plastic-to-plastic -plastic adhesion to remove any paint from the contact surfaces, and then, of course, use your Citadel glue or the tester's liquid glue actually works really well on this stuff too because what you want to do is melt the plastic and get a great bond. So now here we have our choice to either build the Celestial Hurricanum with all the planets and everything up here or to build our Luminarch of Hish with our uh, different lenses here for the laser beam. <laughs> Okay, so you make your choice now as to which one you want, because of course that carriage part is universal to both. So once you make a choice, you find the um, different instruction 
proportions that of course go with your choice. So this one here would be the Celestial Hurricanum. So it shows the cart sides going together. There's all our little books inside for our wizards, little platforms at the back. What's interesting about this is, of course, it's the same thing for the Celestial Hurricanum. You would put this arch facing forward, and for the Luminarch of Haish, you would have this pointing backward. That's the only difference. So here we've got the flaming comet detail going on the sides of the horses. You have the little platform, the half circular railing. Yeah, like I said, our books, the sides, the back, a long staircase going here so that the wizards can get and stand on the top. And then looking at the Hurricanum parts, we have, of course, all these interesting planets and everything. Different bits of the solar system, the sun, sort of like a Saturn thing going on there. All kinds of cool stuff. And then the little dials. So the whole Hurricanum looks like this. And I imagine when the wizards are casting spells, this thing would have a gyroscopic effect and start whirling around and lights would be shooting out of it and the planets would light up and all kinds of cool things. It, of course, that's in my imagination, right? <laughs> It could just sit there, for all I know. <laughs> all right. So then we show the gigantic Hurricanum gluing onto the top here, which sadly covers its detail on this plate. And then there's your whole thing together. But what's missing out of this? Well, of course, we need our battle mages and the accolades. So what do we got? Celestial Wizard and Acolyte Assembly. So, of course, these are all the guys going together. This head sort of looks like Ming the Merciless from uh, Flash Gordon. <laughs> but anyway, so here we go. And there's that rod again that looks like the Celestial Hericanum, which, of course, is also included in our Arcane Wizards, the Battle Mages, in that model kit. And then here we have the one Acolyte on the front. And our wizard standing on this balcony up here. So I do believe that is the end of that assembly. Nope, there's... And there's more! So here's more of the accolades going together. And it being glued all over this thing. So quite cool. And then what? There's even more. This is a very big uh, kit when you come down to it. So all these little ribbons that go on here. There's sort of a telescope again with a bunch of different lenses, optical lenses, sort of giving the wizard stuff to do. There's another Jupiter staff with a little thing on it. There's a telescope toward the back, uh, sort of a torch sitting here, some candlesticks, a whole bunch of cool stuff going on the sides. And then, oops, of course down here, shows what it would look like from side and back views with everything and everyone doing everything that they need to do to get this Celestial Hurricane up and running. So next up we have our Luminar Cup. Ish, Haish, however you want to pronounce that. So like I was saying, this is now in reverse. So you put together the same model with the plates and everything. The balcony now faces the back so that the wizard can look through the telescope and not fall over the railing. Or, you know, not just fall off because there is no railing, I should say. Then you get your staircase and shields going on the side instead of the Sigmar Comet. It's a little bit different. Now we get into this nice telescope up here. So look at this thing. This is the laser lens. Somewhere I know I have a white dwarf that shows painting these lenses. I remember it in my mind. Try to find it. No dice, right? <laughs> of course. So this is on a pedestal. But, you know, you can see how cool this laser is. There's all kinds of little mirrors, reflective things, orbs, uh, you know, neat stuff. So I imagine they could swing this around up top there, get the light from the sun or whatever they need to do, and then bring the cleansing light onto chaos or whatever. <laughs> Okay, so then it shows the laser going up here, or the optical thing. Again, it covers that nice little detailed plate. I can't, I don't understand that with Games Workshop. 
Anyway, uh, there's this toward the back. And the candlesticks and whatnot. And now, of course, we get into our wizards here. The open hand casting the light. The acolytes. So this wizard goes up top here so he can, you know, peer through the lens or whatever he does. And then we've got the one guy up front. And then it shows their locations going in here on the platforms. And then we get some more wizards coming in. But this might be different options for wizards because the one we just looked at... Let me just take a quick look back here. He has sort of a rod or a staff pointing forward, whereas this other guy has a U-shaped stick here, crescent type of thing, you know, pointing up and whatnot. So I'll have to take a look and see what it says there. But of course these are different acolytes and whatnot that can go on to this thing. Now in Age of Sigmar the wizards might just be, here's your battle mage, there you go, have a nice day, so it doesn't matter how you build them. But I know in fantasy they would have had this wizard with this staff is this and the wizard with the rod pointing forward is something else. So again, here we get a bunch of our telescopes and whatnot and a bunch of the scrolls hanging off the side and most of the stuff again from the Celestial Huracanum is being glued in here in different ways, different places. But again, we get to see the side view and the front view of this thing. And finally, there's our views of both models, with the Celestial Huracanum being up top here, and the Luminarch of Haish being down here. So this looks like it's going to be a very fun kit. And now let's put our instructions away and look at the parts. And here we have our basic body bits. There, of course, is our very ornate carriage bottom. And you can see it's got the eagles with Carl Franz printed on here. There's the sides of our wagon, as well as the horses here. And the different candles and whatnot. All these cool little details, the very ornate wheels. The, uh, the bit for the telescope. There's a nice plate here, again, with the griffin on it. Yeah, these are griffins, not eagles. <laughs> Stairs. The balcony, all kinds of goodies. I forgot to do something with the battle mages, which I'll do right here, my battle mage video, is bring this up to the camera lens so you can actually see the nice detail on there. Look at how ornate that is. That's really nice. Look at those wheels in there. This is quite the painting challenge to get it all together. Of course, you can see the iron cross here of the old empire. Still very stylized. There's all our books here. Which are quite nice. There's this nice plate, a book, and then of course our balcony here. Look at all the little ribbons and whatnot. It's great stuff. Let's bring this around over here. How about this? There's the sides of our carriage coach. You have to cut these out of the windows. The nice candles. Check out these nice big horses. Those things are awesome. Okay, let's turn this over and the nice ornate work continues on the bottom. There's another griffin. Here's a bunch of skulls in a box. More skulls. Oh, this is under the stairs. So you got all these skulls in here. There's our undercarriage. The telescopes. Look at the wheels there with the little hammers going around. That's cool. Turn this into a hot rod. I don't know. Inside of the Iron Cross are these little skulls. There's all the symbols for uh, the different magics. And then for our telescope, there's the hubs for our wheels. Let's just turn that over and see what they look like. See the nice little ornate work on the hubs. Okay, turning back, what else? We've got nice detail on the inside of the balcony. And then uh, there's some detail inside here on the coachwork. And basically, that's about it. Horses heads, of course, both sides with that barding. So anyway, there is our actual platform. Now let's take a look at the magical bits. And here we have a beautiful sculpt of, of course, all the ornate magical bits that go on here, including our wizards. 
and uh, you can just see like the nice detail in the celestial bits. There's a little cage here, and then our star platform. There's part of the the first big lens on our laser. Nice little details. So amazing. There's the sun, and I guess maybe this is a comet or something. Another little comet thing. I'll call him a com comet. There's a sun in the center here. All neat stuff. So let's bring this up to the lens. <laughs> yeah, look at all these nice little planets and things. Sort of a Jupiter kind of Saturn thing. Uh, yeah, Saturn has rings. Jupiter has the big eye. <laughs> There's a bunch of the heads. An arm with some books underneath. Hang on, let's use my pointer stick. We got there's skulls around on the cage. I do believe these are interlocks, so there'd be a skull there. So when this interlocks, there'll be skulls every couple of inches around this thing. Some neat little details. Here, of course, are the lenses with again skulls around. L lots of skulls in the uh, Warhammer fantasy world. Just call it fantasy because it's also fantasy would include Age of Sigmar, right? These are just old models brought forward into our modern times, but they're still worth a look. There's an extended hand casting the spell, the crescent type rod here. It's a neat little symbol there, almost like the chaos symbol. There's more of the detail. Look at the the base there for the mount of the laser thing. There's our sun globe, whatever fireball, comet, whatever you want to call it, celestial bits. There's the little shields go on the sides of the horses. Okay, let's turn this over. Look at this nice star on the bottom here. Neat stuff, really cool. I like the sculpting at Games Workshop is nice. Always has been. Even with some of the models that now look kind of goofy, they still had a lot of nice sculpting to them. Uh, yeah, all cool little heads in here and everything. There's the wizard bodies. There we go. Lots of cool detail. So this is definitely a kit worth picking up. And what's nice about this is in the new battle tome, Cities of Sigmar, both the Luminarch of Haish and the Celestial Hurricanum actually enhance all city units. That's right. So it doesn't matter if you're going to play Dispossessed or um, any of those others. <laughs> Free Peoples, you know, uh, Wildwood Rangers, or no, the Wanderers, Wanderers or any of those. Both the Luminarch of Haish and the Celestial Huracanum will, of course, enhance any of those cities. So that's cool. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed that great unboxing of the Luminarch of Hish, otherwise known as the Celestial Huracanum, depending on how you want to build it. And if you do like this model kit, why not check out our models that are available right now at www.monster-hobbies.ca. We've got some cool Warhammer stuff like what I have behind me here, as well as more, and we can always order more in if you guys don't see what you like there or at our store on our shelves. We've got a little spider climbing up. So, until next time, everybody, enjoy your Age of Sigmar battles and happy wargaming.